I just don't think we're ever going to get a lot of snow. Holy cow. Last night, when the news said we were getting six to nine inches, I said... Six to nine inches? Yeah, when pigs fly. Anywho, this is the kind that's very slushy. You know what I mean? I mean, it doesn't look like it right now because it's fresh, but it's the kind that packs really well. Now you can make good snowballs with this. It's not so watery right now, but it's, well, it's very, it's filled with a lot of moisture. Anyway, you know what happens when you don't get on top of this stuff, right? Oh, a shovel or a clear the snow when it ends. Yeah, well, they're expecting six to nine. I would like to go and take my snowmobile out for a ride, but honestly, this is the slushy kind, which means the skis are going to just dr go right onto the concrete and scratch the concrete. It has to be like um, cold, super cold, where the snow will actually pack down and stay there. This stuff is going to melt because it's actually 34 or 35 degrees right now. So this stuff is, is going to be filled with moisture. By the time noon comes around, when the snowstorm stops, it should all melt very easily. Nevertheless, I am going to blow this with that. Uh, I might go in the backyard and get my dual stage electric snowblower, which I haven't showed you guys in a while. Let's see how this does. It's pretty heavy snow. I doubt it'll work. I might have to get the, I might have to definitely go back there and get the uh, dual stage out. couple of weeks. Battery's dead. This will take hours to charge. I might have to go and whip out the big two stage electric one. You see? That's the bad thing about electric. You have to remember to charge the battery before the snowstorm. So last night, in case pigs started to fly, I moved the dual stage snowblower from the back of the shed to the front of the shed. So now I'm gonna bring this battery with me. Can you imagine being a mailman this time of year? You gotta walk through this all day? Just yanked it out of here. This is my PowerSmart dual stage. I used this once during last year's storm. It did really well. It's essentially the same thing as a gas dual stage snowblower, except it runs on 80 watts of power, which is quite a lot. Best part of this is it takes the uh, same exact battery that I use for my PowerSmart uh, 30 inch um, push behind lawnmower which I've been using every weekend during the summer. So I actually have two batteries, the stock one from here and the one for that lawnmower. So now I have two batteries for both. This should work. It was parked all the way in the back over here. Here's my uh, Monster Beast gas one that I haven't used in several years. Here's my Aaron's. That's an 1128, I think really nice I have one here that's a uh, single stage works good Rodimus Prime this was the project I completed last summer and I didn't get to sell yet this is the two-tone one that I fixed uh, the summer to this fall the I'm gonna I'm gonna probably eventually paint that all red I'm gonna get that to the front now
Sorry, it's pretty hard to uh, film in the snow when it's still snowing. Can't see. Snow gets into the lens. So, you know, it's one of those losing battles, you know, you, you do one path and then by the time you look over, it's getting covered again. So, you know, it's still coming down pretty good. It's going to keep going for a couple of hours. I just wanted to come out and try it, you know. Uh, I'm not really as happy with it as I used it than when I used it last time because last time the snow was a little bit more powdery and I feel like it really got the job done, you know, uh, compared to a gas a double stage dual stage snowblower today it's very sluggish you know it it's really hard for it to push so it has a lot to do with the way the snow is uh, it, you know even with gath snowblowers you know dual stage you have trouble with the clogging of the chutes anyway with slush but i mean you know i'm not giving it any effort i don't i'm not tired or anything i just have to maneuver it around a little bit uh it does it does it does the job you know cleared it out I even went on the lawn over here. You know, did all right. Good thing about electric is that you don't have to keep, you know, pulling it sometimes if it doesn't start. You know, there's no effort, you know, to your body. You're just standing there behind it and it's self-propelled, goes by itself. It's a little sluggish today, though, which I'm not happy with. But, I mean, it does a good job. really heavy over here because the plow trucks came by. You guys can tell by the way this snow looks. I haven't touched this. This is just wetness. See what I'm saying? Very slushy. You can hear it. 
very easy to clear. You see how much moisture is on the window already? It's very wet snow, which, you know, is a challenge for any snow blower to do. But it's okay. I don't need to whip out the gas one because this thing does the job. Are you ready for the apocalypse? I know, so dramatic, right? cars pretty easily just give it a push you guys need a long snow brush not even out of breath so I'll come back later see after this continues how much more I have to do I might have to go to my mom's house in Queens because they'll ticket you if you don't clear their sidewalks you know for people to walk on because they have sidewalks in the city see you guys later I do need to knock down the snow from the top of my shed because six or seven inches worth of slushy snow could cause it to collapse. So this thing's not gonna last much longer. Not too many storms like this. It'll collapse because pushing it on the inside, you could see the light going through some of the parts where it's very worn. So another heavy downfall and it'll just collapse through the roof. That's a shame. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I'm helping my neighbor use her Toro Power Clear 180 four cycle 87 cc. Works pretty good. Has a little bit of a belt squeal. Just trying to dig her out of this. works okay but um, like I said slushy stuff even gas doesn't work well it worked out okay has some belt slippage but that's fine look at that people using shovels you'll get a heart attack that way Oh, my neighbors paid three dudes to do it, but these three dudes have snow blowers, but they're shoveling instead. Probably too much trouble to just take them down. If they had a trailer, it'd be easier. And there's my neighbor, Andy the Brit. He's got his uh, Troy built. Oh, actually, that that wasn't him. That's 
Darren. Darren always has has a nice new blower. What's up, Darren? It boxed me in again. Damn it. working out all right but very slushy like I said he's got that new Troy built one with those plastic big wheels he says it slips a lot so now I'm headed to uh, Queens New York City to see my mom uh, she probably doesn't have that much um shovel but I'm gonna drive this because as you guys know sketchy is a two wheel drive not a four-wheel drive and it also takes too much gas to go all the way to the city so uh, I cleared this area my Mercedes is always a uh, formatic which is always four-wheel drive so that ought to be good guys it's like a ghost town nobody's out two o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesday no cars anywhere even the highway me and two other cars in the winter wonderland as you can see the clouds clearing up and i can't believe it i can't tell you the last time this highway wasn't jam-packed all the time look at the returning cars no cars on that side all right here i am in queens new york city look at that it's a joke they got like three inches nothing yeah see Two and a half, three inches, something like that. I guess uh, I could call Long Island six inches is what I got. Anyway, that's why most people were using their um, um, shovels because it, the way it's so slushy, it's not even worth getting it out, you know, getting the snowblower out. So I brought over my 40 watt, uh, 40 volt Lithely, which I thought was pretty good has the plastic paddles that actually uh, gives it more revolutions due to it being lighter. So I'm gonna try this. I didn't bring my tripod, so. It's been charging all this time. I don't know why it's still flashing though. It wasn't clipped in, so now it's charging. I don't know, let's see how much juice is in it anyway. Hmm, still full, we'll give it a try. Easy to use, just open up this thing, slip the battery in, and you're good to go. Well, that's the best you're gonna get as a uh, <laughs> tripod. You could just use a shovel and do it. One handed. <laughs> well, it's easier with two.
was like super easy. And I had enough juice to go and do the neighbors too. I'm telling you. Uh, it's very hot. <laughs> but it's Dunsky now. But it was enough to get her done. It was cinch too. Easy. Yeah, so before it wasn't clipped in, which is why I was blinking. Now it's charging. Mission accomplished. Look at the black beauty. Anyway, that's just about enough of snow that I want to play with in one day. Blowing out my neighbor's driveways, helping my neighbor shovel, coming to Queens to do my mom's. And now it's uh, almost six at night, you know, and I'm headed on home and most of the snow's already melted on its own. Had I just stayed in and did nothing, it would have came out the same way. Hey, well, guys, hope you enjoyed the nor'easter snow that we got here in Long Island. I mean, you know, something to play with, I guess, but uh, still not selling any snow blowers. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys next time. I'm always a blow. <laughs>